Hello, welcome to the class. Hello, hello, good evening, teacher. Good evening. Vamos a esperar solo un par de minutitos para que los demás compañeros se puedan integrar. It's okay, teacher. Nice, welcome. Okay, everybody, welcome to the class. We're going to start today. So, lo primero que vamos a chequear es la plataforma, por supuesto. All right. Okay, estamos acá. Esta es la clase de este día. Y luego, pues, tenemos por ahí abajo ya la pregunta. So, the question is already there. I forgot to speak in English. So, this is it, and now we're going to check about the attendance, okay? Uh, also remember that for last Friday, uh, last weekend, we had to do the, the midterm tests and all the activities before the midterm test. So, it's very important that if you haven't done the midterm test and the previous activities, please do them. It's very important to do them as soon as possible, okay? We have two more weeks to go in the English class. This week is normal. We're going to work in a normal way. Next week, as I understand, we're going to have classes only one or two days, and then until the next week because of the holidays. Okay, so I'm going to let you know around yeah, Thursday. <laughs> okay. So we're going to check the attendance before we continue. Ada Patricia Linares Galdamez. Present. Good. Adriana Stephanie Martinez Flores. Present. Good. Ana Selmi Chévez. Present teacher. Good. Flor de Maria Carballo Ugarte. Gloria Elizabeth Linares Galdamez. Yes. Good. Guadalupe del Carmen López Flores. Present. Good. Carla Verónica Vázquez de Rivas. Present. Good. Lourdes Beatriz Iraeta de Miranda. Mayra Melanie Guevara de Beltrán. Ofelia Orellana Arce. Here, teacher. Good. Osmin Baire Solorzano. Present teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Pamela Beatriz Posada Reina. Good evening, present. Good. Rafael Ernesto González Ventura. Ricardo Alexis Fuentes Flores. A Fuentes Rodrigo, sorry. Rosa Elena Salgado de Serrano. Sandra Gladys Méndez Ramírez. William Giovanni Rosales Galvez. Yancy Lisbeth Hernández Mejía. Present. Good. 
Zulma Rosaura López García. Present. Good. Nelson Edgardo Sánchez Ramírez. Present, teacher. Good. Ana Michelle Guevara. Susana Carolina Hernández Iraeta. Okay, perfect. We are going to start with the class of today. We are going to start actually with the book. So, if you have the book around there, of course you can take it. Today we're going to start unit number three. Of course, as you know, all the unit is about logistics, right? But there are different topics in different units. So this, the name of this unit is warehouse. Do you remember what is a warehouse? What is that? Is where is the place when the companies um, have inventory. Very good. So whenever a company has any kind of inventory, raw material, anything, the warehouse is the place, right? So it's going to be where the raw materials goes to the production floor and where the finished goods also go to the warehouse and then to the distribution channel. So says unit three, I will be able to describe the fundamentals of warehouse management. Okay, so all this unit is about warehousing. And in the number one, it says, let's start. What will happen if the warehouse of a very busy company reaches its maximum capacity? Okay, everybody, this is a very good question. So, question for everybody. What will happen if the warehouse of a very busy company reaches its maximum capacity? What do you think happens? Uh, I think the teacher uh, is dangerous for attention that uh, the customer and everything uh, company is a problem. Very good. Yeah, it's a big problem for the whole company, actually. That's good. Any other opinion on this? Where is over capi capacity mm -hmm. for the warehouse? Is it right over capacity, teacher? I'm or sorry? It's right the expression. Yeah, the capacity is, is correct. You can say capacity. It's right the expression, the over capacity. Yeah, you can say over capacity. It is possible that the, the inventory bad conditions, the, there is more disorganization and is easier lost the inventory because the, the old warehouse has a, a specific capacity for the uh, depend of the kind of inventory but the all space has a specific capacity very good yeah i mean it affects in many ways so as you say uh, the inventory maybe is going to be in bad quality and also Definitely, there is a, a capacity that is established for a warehouse, right? Any other person? It reaches the maximum capacity. Mm. You have 
to you have to know the reason maybe your inventory it doesn't rot rotate in in a in a good way and i think that um, or maybe because happens at the company uh, sometimes we have the maximum capacity but we have a, we have a lot of product that is designed for many projects that are in um oh my god can i how can i say that are in process and that's the way that the warehouse uh, reaches the maximum capacity but sometimes if you see in the other side sometimes it's in it's in good because maybe your your products aren't rotated in a good way okay very good actually that is very interesting as you say uh, we need to analyze what happened right many things may cause this to happen maybe the distribution channel is not working properly and they do not get the products to the right destiny maybe the production is so fast that they overproduce very fast and now we don't have space anymore there are many things that might be happening the problem is what we're gonna do i mean we have the warehouse at full I remember I was working, actually my first job was at a factory and there was a, a time when, I mean, the warehouse was so full and we had to have the, the finished goods in the production floor. It was, it was dangerous for people. There was no control over the goods. I mean, we lost a lot of, products because I mean there was a, a mess so that can cause a, a big impact a or big, don't have a system that is the it. company I, sometimes mm -hmm. that happens sometimes I mean sometimes the production is so fast that depends on the product that they're building of course and remember that some factories they build different products so maybe some of the products are very fast production and then we we need to analyze those things even in the planning right what is going to happen whenever we accept to to create a product so it's going to be the flow is going to be fine within the company and there is another question that says how will avoid overcrowding in a warehouse so how do you avoid this? What do you think? If we are talking about, uh, oh no, sorry. Okay, yes, me. Uh, no, just. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> if you are talking about a uh, a production company you have to know uh, the maximum uh, no you have to know the forecast to produce something you don't you don't have to produce if you have 500 items for a code for a product if you if you see that the product uh, the movement in the in the sales is low i'm talking about uh, a production company in our case i take again a case sometimes we are overcrowding but it's the same the same way we we have uh, today today we receive 700 forms but we know that the 700 pounds is go out to the to the customer in, in two days and only for a moment, but not all the time. 
Very good, perfect. Yeah, that depends on the kind of company, definitely. Osmin, go ahead. Okay, teacher. Uh, for avoid the, the problem for me is important. Uh, oh, it's necessary I have a system, an emergent system. For Very attendance. good. Yeah, yeah, actually, that is important, right? To have a plan B, that is very important. Exactly. I mean, yeah. you believe that there is a, an installed capacity, right? In the warehouse and in the production. And you know that maybe you have a forecast, but many things change sometimes. So, of course, just in case something like that happens, you need to have a plan B. What might be a plan B in this situation? Maybe an outsourcing, right? A 3PL. That might be a very nice plan. Just to have the contact, right? That would be fantastic. Because if something like that is happening, you see the forecast and you know that you are not going to have enough space in the warehouse, then you immediately call. Hey, my friends, how much is going to be to have this and this and this done? So it's a very nice thing. Good, perfect, that's good. I see that we have moved on the topic. That's very nice. Now we have here a little conversation. Rose, uh -huh, Rose and Matt are discussing storage problems they are facing at the warehouse where they hold their shipments. Read and practice the conversation. We are going to repeat. I know that this is advanced level, but we're going to repeat just to check some pronunciation things. Everybody, here we go. Sir, we just received a call from the warehouse. The last shipping arrived today and it seems they don't have more space to store our products. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay, good. The next one, it says, that is a very expensive shipment. Our products will get damaged if they are left lying anywhere. Can they arrange for the transportation of this shipment to a different warehouse? That's very expensive shipment. All products will get damaged if they are left lying Any, anywhere. Can they arrange for the transportation of this same shipment to a different Warehouse. Good. Yes, sir. They asked if uh, we had some other warehouse we could use. I will read a document ready to outsource this shipment to a temporary warehouse. It is costly, but the product comes first. Okay, now I will repeat. I will get the documents ready to outsource this shipment to a temporary warehouse. It is costly, but the products come first. Okay, so let's check some vocabulary. Uh, let's see. Sir, we we'll receive a call from the warehouse. The last shipment of right today is just don't have more space to store our products. I don't think we have a problem there. There is a that is a very expensive shipment. What is a shipment? Let's see. What is a shipment? Anybody? Shipment, shipment is when sending products to country, another country, or a, a be um, or or internal or internal uh, sending. I don't know. Good, good. Actually, that is it. Shipping is when you have a package already okay. finished, right? That mm -hmm. you are going to send to another company, another distribution channel, another warehouse. So it's something that you are going to move to other I place. Good, perfect. And says that is a very special. Our products will get damaged. What is to be damaged or to get damaged? Contamination. It could be contaminated. Uh huh. Uh, damage is a wrong. Uh, 
is a run in the product. Um, uh, I don't know what. Uh -huh. It's like hurt something. Yeah, well, something is like broken, right? It's not working properly anymore. Something like that is damaged. Uh, bad quality. With bad quality, very good. And then there is another word that says left line anywhere. What is to left line something? To put some things in, in not, uh, what do you say? Adequate. Adequate, you can say that. Yeah, if, if, you, if you don't, if you put, no, if you can put a, anything, or a, or a, um, my God. A, a product that you can put in, 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 a, in, a, in every place um, could it be damaged. Very good. So yeah, lying anywhere or let something lying anywhere is like put it here where it's not the right place. It's at any place, right? You put anything there. So that is not good, right? Of course. Can they arrange for the transportation of the shipment to a different warehouse says? Yes, sir. They asked if we had some other warehouse we could use. I wear the documents ready to outsource the shipment to a temporal warehouse. It is costly, but the products come first. That is true. Costly, what is to be costly? Price, similar price. Very good, something kind of expensive, right? So the problem is this one. The problem is that when you need to pay for another warehouse or to another delivery or anything like that, the problem is that it's going to be like more expensive, the product. So that is the real problem, that at the end, your profit is going to be less. But of course, you have to do something about it. You cannot be like, okay, whatever, right? So it's, it's not good, that part. Do you have any questions on this? No. Perfect. We're going to practice the conversation. Of course, two people. Adriana and Rose, please. Okay. You, Rose. Rose. <laughs> okay. Sir, we just received a call from the warehouse. The last shipment arrived today, and it seems they don't have more space to store our products. That is a very expensive shipment. Our product will get damaged in if they are left lean anywhere. Can they arrange for the transportation is the shipment to a different warehouse? Yes, sir. They ask if we have some other warehouse we could see, we could use. I will get the documents ready to outsource this shipment to a temporary warehouse. It is, it is costly, but the product comes first. Very good, perfect. Now, Sandra and Michelle. Okay. okay. Start, start me? Yes, yes please. Okay. See, we just received it of call from the warehouse, the last shipment arrived today and it seems they don't have more space to store our products. That is very expensive shipment. Our product will get damaged if they are left lying anywhere. Can they arrange for the transportation of this shipment to a different warehouse? Yes, since they ask you if we have some other warehouses we could use. I will get the documents ready to outsource this shipment to a temporal warehouse. It is costly, but the product comes first. Very good, perfect. Now, Ada, Patricia, and Gloria, Elizabeth. <laughs> Sir, we just received a call from the warehouse. 
the last shipment arrived today and it seems they don't have more space to store our products. That is very expensive shipment or products get if they are flying where can they arrive for the transportation of the shipment to a different warehouse? Yes, yes sir. They ask if we have some other warehouse we could use. I will get the document ready to outsource this shipment to a temporary warehouse. It's a costly, but the product comes come first. Very good, perfect. Now, Osmin, and let me just check and sell me. All right. Tell you, sell me, please. <clears throat> Thank you, it's me. Sir, we just received a call for, from the warehouse. The last shipment are real today, and it seems they don't have more space to store our product. That is a very expensive shipment. Our product will get the mass each day are left lying anywhere. Can they? arrange for the transportation in this shipment at different warehouse? Yes, sir. They ask us if we have some other warehouse we could uh, use. I will get the documents ready to outsource this shipment to a temporary warehouse. It is cost, it is cost, but the product Confers. Very good, perfect. Now, Mayra and Guadalupe. Okay, I start. Sir, we just received a call from the warehouse. The last shipment arrived today, and it seems they don't have more space to store our products. That is a very expensive shipment. Our product will get damaged is if they are left living anywhere. Can they arrange for the transport transportation of this shipment to a different warehouse? Yes, sir. They asked if we had some other warehouse we could use. I will get the document ready to outsource this treatment to a temporary warehouse is a, is a costly, but the product comes first. Perfect, thank you. Now, Floor and Jancy. Okay. Floor? Yes. See. We just received a call from the warehouse. The last shipment arrived today and it seems they don't have more space to store our products. That is a very expensive shipment. Our products will get them much if they are left like anywhere. And can they arrange for the transportation? transportation of this shipment to a different warehouse? Yes, sir. They asked ask if we have some other warehouse we could use. I will get to document ready to outside, outside this shipment to a temporal warehouse. It is costly, but the product, product comes first. Perfect. Now, Pamela and Zulma. Sir, we just received a call from the warehouse. The last shipment arrived today at, and it seems they don't have more space to, to store our product. That is a very expensive shipment. Our product will get damaged if they are left lying anywhere. Can they arrange for the transportation of this shipment to a different warehouse? 
Yes, sir. They asked if we have some other warehouse we could use. I will get the documents ready to outsource this shipment to a temporal warehouse. It is costly, but the products come first. Good. Now, Ophelia and uh, Lourdes. Okay. At least I was raising a call. I found the house at the last piece. Arrive, arrive today, and this, this, I did not, I have more expenses to store all products. That is a very expensive shipment. Our products will get damaged if they are left lying anywhere. Can they damage a ranch? Perdón, can they arrange for the transportation of this shipment to a different warehouse? Yes, I see they ask if we have so many others. And how I will call Pusha. I will get the documents ready to outsource this shipment to a temporal warehouse. It is costly but the product comes first. Very good, perfect. Now, Rafael and Carla. Sir, we just received a call from the warehouse. The last treatment arrived today and it's in they don't have more space to store our product. That is a very expensive shipment. Our product will get damaged if they are left lying anywhere. Can they arrange for the transportation of this shipment to a different warehouse? Yes, sir. They ask if we have some other warehouse we could use. I will get the document ready to outsource this shipment to a temporary warehouse. It is costly, but the product comes Okay, very good, perfect. Now, uh, Susana and I guess everybody else has done it. Susana, and we're going to repeat them. Um, Susana mm -hmm. and... Uh, and Mayra, please. Okay. I start. Sir, we just received a call from the warehouse. The last shipment arrived today and it seems they don't have more space to store our products. That is a very expensive shipment. Our products will get damaged if they are left lying anywhere. Can they arrange for the transportation of the shipment to a different warehouse? Yes, sir. The yes can... Hello. I repeat again. Uh, we just listened out. You said they asked. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. Yes, sir. They asked if we had some other water. Use. I will get the documents ready to outsource this shipment to a temporal warehouse. It is costly, but the product come first. Very good, perfect. Any question on this one? No, for me, teacher. Good. Let's check then the. Uh, the questions that are here. So it says, discuss the answers. What happened to Matt's current warehouse? So what happened to that warehouse? Don't have more space Very for good. a new product. That is it. So it's they, not enough these days. they don't have room anymore. Number two says, what could happen to the shipment if it is not carefully stored? 
could be damaged. Very good. So the clothes could be damaged. And the number three says, what does Matt do about the problem? You saw the warehouse. Okay, he could use another warehouse. Actually, that's what it says, right? They are going to do an outsource anyways, because it's, it's expensive, but they need to move on. They need to check into that one. Good, do you have any questions? Okay, so let's check about um, building vocabulary. It says, read the definitions below and match the examples to the corresponding term. So there are letter A and B and below there are other two options. So we're going to check into that one. Let's see. Uh, Selmi, could you please read letter A? The warehouse management teacher. Yes, please. Warehouse management is the control of the day-to-day -day operation of a warehouse, such as the shipping, receiving, put away, and picking off goods. Very good. So look at the definition. Is yes. Warehouse management, right? Management is a little bit different than just control. Is the control of the day-to-day -day operations of a warehouse, such as the shipping, receiving, put away, and picking up goods. So it's everything that is going on in the warehouse, like any process that is connected to that one. So, and is there another question it says, is it the same as stock control? Okay, let's see, Asmin, could you please read letter B? It's okay, teacher. A stock control is a way to maximize profit by getting inventory right, and warehouse man management is a way to maximize the efficient and effective effectiveness of warehouse operation. Very good. So, stock control is a way to maximize profit by getting inventory right. So that is the first part. So stock control is profit, is money, is managing the inventory. And warehouse management is a way to maximize the efficiency and effectiveness of a warehouse operation. So that is the difference. The first one is related to money and the second one is related to the process itself, to be efficient and to be effective. So that is it. So let's see. The next one is for Ada Patricia. Item sell this. It tells, uh huh? It, it tells the, you where the item are the end, the order in which they need to be picked. Okay, so it tells you where the item are, items are, and the order in which they need to be picked. So it's like the organization, right? Uh, Gloria, could you please read the other one? It means... Okay, it means you know how many of particular products you have and when to order more. Very good, perfect. Now the question is, the first one, where it says it tells you where the items are and the order in which they need to be picked. Is that warehouse management or is that star control? Warehouse management? Warehouse management, everybody agrees? Okay, so yes. it means you know how many of a particular product you have and when to order more. So that is then? Stock control. Stock yes. control. Okay, so this is very important. We need to remember that it's not the same warehouse management than stock control. Of course, whenever we move on, we're going to see other, other things related to this one. 
Okay. And then it says, number five, building vocabulary. The following are basic types of warehouses. Match the type of warehouses of two, its definitions. Very good. So number one says holding warehouse. Distribution center, cross docking center. Mm -hmm. There are three different things. Rose, could you please read the first definition? It can be named a terminal or sorting center. The focus is only on receiving and shipping activities with little, with little to no storage. Very good. So it can be named a terminal or sorting center. The focus is only on receiving and shipping activities with little all to no storage. So the question is, is that holding warehouse, distribution center, or cross docking center? What do you believe is the current one? Cross docking center. That is correct. That is cross docking center. Good. The other one is going to be for floor. Please read the next one. Okay. There is something going on there. I don't know what's going on. To keep the house in order, sometimes it's also a matter of inventory. Okay, so, Flora, are you here? Not right. Okay, um, let's see. Jancy, could you please read the next one? Okay. Traditional warehouse for space is used for temporal and a long-term storage. Very good, traditional warehouse. So this is traditional warehouse whose space is used for temporal and long-term storage. So is that holding warehouse or Distribution center. Distribution center. Distribution center. Everybody agrees? Yes. Oh, holding warehouse. Mm, holding warehouse. Mm. Let's do something. Let's read the next one and then we're going to check what will be the right answer. Let's see. Pamela, could you please read the next one? The last one. Cross drocking center. It serves large regions and goods are stored short time. Most of it is it is used for picking and so consolidation orders. Mm -hmm. So this one says it serves larger regions and goods are stored shorter time. Most of it is used for picking. I guess that word is. Is very important. Picking and consolidation orders. So which one is it? What do you think? Uh, okay. In this case, the distribution center. This one Last. is the distribution center. Very good. So the distribution center is this one, and the second one is going to be holding warehouse. Holding. That is the traditional one. Very good. Let's check some vocabulary. Sorting center. What is sort? Then in the first one says sorting center. What is sort? Sort is when you arrange something. Put in order. Very good. It's when you organize. Actually, when you are in Excel, right? And when you are, uh, when you want to put in order something, there is an option that is a sort, ascendant, descendant, things like that. So it's to put in order anything. Good. And then it says, similar shipping activity on a store, a traditional warehouse space. It's just long term. No, I know that you know what is that. Let's see. Picking, I guess there is no other question. So, um, uh, we're not going to do the number six because everybody ha works in a different place. 
Mm, and we're not going to do this one yet, but we're going to move to the presentation. So, what is warehouse management? So, we're going to go more in deep into this one. What is warehouse management? Okay, we're going to listen to, let's see, Michelle, could you please read that one? Okay. What is, uh, what is warehouse management? Warehouse management encompasses the principle and process involved in running, in running the day-to-day -day operation of a warehouse at a high level. This includes receive, receiving and organizing warehouse space, scheduling labor, managing inventory and fulfilling orders. Soon in closer and you see that effective warehouse management involves opti optimizing and integrating each of these processes to ensure all aspects of the warehouse operation work together to increase productivity and keep costs low. Very good. So there are a lot of elements in this one, but let's see, uh, Michelle, what did you understand on warehouse management? What is that in your own words? Mm, is uh, like a process to administrate um, the warehouse, like um, manage management uh, the inventory or the scheduling labors and um, etc very good so warehouse management is not only about the inventory but it's about a lot of procedures right so let's check some words here encompasses what is to encompass Does anybody know what encompasses me? Okay, encompass is like to put together many things in the correct order. So that is it. And then it says encompasses the principles. What is a principle? Objective. Like an objective, yeah. It could be something like that. Like a principle is like something like this very basic and you need to do so you can achieve anything, right? So the principles and processes involved in running the day-to-day -day operations of a warehouse. So that is the first aspect. So uh, it's everything that goes in the day-to-day -day operations of a warehouse. And then it says at a high level, of course, we have seen some videos about organizations that are very large. This includes receiving and organizing warehouse space. So- Organize day to day. Yeah, and the space is very important in the words. I mean, the main purpose of the warehouse is that to store, to have space with the right conditions, of course, as we check already. Scheduling labor. What is scheduling labor? Daily, daily process so activities daily. Okay, something like that. Actually, scheduling labor means that when you have a space or when you, well, you have the warehouse and then you need to put a lot of inventory in, then you need to know how it's going to be managed the rest of the inventory. You need to work with the planning department so they can tell you what is going on, how it's going to be moved, everything inside of the of the warehouse so everything flows in the right way. And then it says fulfilling order, zooming closer, and you'll see that the effective warehouse management involves optimizing and integrating each of those processes to ensure, what is to ensure? Anybody include, knows? Uh -huh, include, I'm sorry. Include. Include. Mm. Insurance may something. 
certain. Very good. It's, it's like a warranty. Okay. Yeah, and sure is like to be sure something is going to happen before it happens, of course. So the process is to ensure all aspects of a warehouse operation work together to increase productivity and keep costs low. Of course, since this is part of logistics, money is important on this one because we need to keep the cost low so we have more profit. Okay, let's move on. Any questions on this one? What's meaning full, full filing? Fulfilling. Anybody knows what is fulfilling? When a process is complete. Very good. It's include, too complete. Something. Include the packaging there. Okay. Uh, yes, all the process to, to take the product until the, the finish. Yeah. Okay, very good. So that is it. So fulfilling is to complete something. And in this case, since we're speaking about products, warehouse logistics is whenever a product is totally packed and ready to go. Good. Any other question? Okay. So the next one, it says benefits of warehouse management. Lourdes, could you please read the first paragraph? Okay. Benefit of warehouse management. Warehouse operations are generally invisible to customers, but they play a vital behind this, the scenes role in ensuring on-time delivery. To achieve this goal, good warehouse management ensures all warehouse processes run as efficiently and accurately as possible. For example, warehouse management involves optimizing the use of warehouse space to maximize inventory storage, making inventory easy to, for staff to find, ensuring adequate staff, staffing, efficiently fulfilling orders, and coordinating communication with suppliers and transportation companies so materials arrive and orders ship on time. Very good. What did you understand on this one, Lourdes? Um, the if in shares of warehouse uh, have a good job. Uh, optimize uh, mm -hmm. the warehouse because uh, when the management is good, uh, the company has a, mm, a lot of benefits uh, such as um, uh, a, a, a fine, the fine easy product in the storage or a move a move efficiently the product a, with an with a, a good tool for example or a, the storage or the warehouse a, has a, a good space to uh, the company purchase um, a new product, for example. Very good, very nice, that is interesting. So yes, everything is related to the whole thing, right? Uh, let's check some, uh, some things here. Warehouse operations are generally invisible to customers. So that is true, right? We receive a package and we are happy. Oh, here is my new, anything. Oh my. What happened?